lost weight. I failed at so many things so many times before the weight actually came off. And if you're going through your own weight loss journey, you know that there are many things that you can do to sabotage your efforts. But hopefully, my list of helpful tips will help you get through the hard times. Many times when we first wake up in the morning, it already starts. The negative. We are pushing snooze a million times. Why? Because we ain't getting the adequate rest that we need. A rule of thumb is seven to eight hours nightly so that you have enough energy to get through workouts, to power through your day, and to also feel energetic and keep your body burning them calories right. Huh? Who? Who that? Okay. And we've all fallen victim to this next one. You just don't snack smart. When you're snacking, choose nutrient-rich snacks, cap snacks at 200 calories, slow down your pace, prepare for times that you're going to be hungry, and delight your taste buds. Get things that you want, that you need, that you like, that are gonna keep you satisfied. If you're having an even harder time like I do on the go, I love Love With Foods gluten-free boxes. They sent me a box this month for Valentine's Day and I already subscribed to them as well. Great snacks, low price, awesome stuff. They explain to you what's in the box, what you get, what's the nutrients, what's good about them. Everything is gluten free. And also you get a variety of things from oatmeal to different kinds of chips that are healthier options cookies, candy. I can tell y'all so many things I've gotten and shared out of this box. It's just really awesome. These snacks are delivered directly to your door and start at only $9.99 a month. The gluten-free options, like I said, are available. And guess what? A meal is donated to the food bank every time a box is shipped. I've never seen or even tasted half of the snacks that come my way. It's pretty cool. Everything is free of artificial coloring, flavoring, MSG, and all of that crap that we don't need. When I really like an item in my box, I'm able to go back to their website, order it for free shipping, and get as much as I would like. Even better, the website is user-friendly and has much information about where donations are taking place and also other people who are really enjoying their boxes. So you know I always think about y'all when I get something cool. So if you look down below in the info section and click, you'll get your first tasting box for 40% off. And if you wanna go that gluten-free option, you can get 50% off your first gluten-free box. Another thing I know that we can fall victim of is only doing cardio. I mean, cardio is amazing and all, but we all know the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn, which means the more weight you lose, actually. And I like to keep a lot of stuff in the house that helps me naturally build muscle. So from workout equipment, from weights, different sizes, little medicine balls, and small weights even. I do cardio moves with strength moves. It's not too hard to incorporate something small like the small weights that I have here into a workout that might have just ended up being more cardio based. So even something like this is going to build your muscle tone, it's going to build strength, it's going to help you see more lean muscle and in turn burn more fat. Lil Wody, another reason why you never see any weight dropping off the scales because you never switch it up. Most people get the best results when they switch up their workouts. So that means if you're gonna run one day or if you're gonna do some cardio-based HIIT training one day, some strength training incorporated in your cardio, lifting weights, doing things like that. I love things like box jumps and like I said, high intensity training. Anything that's gonna get that heart rate up, that's gonna switch it up and keep my body from getting used to things and wait. Don't ever forget your little furry friends. My little doggy Bella keeps me busy and keeps me moving all around and adds major steps to that pedometer. So get you a little furry friend or play with your friends or somebody. Buy some workout DVDs and switch up your workouts at home. I also have my own $10 workout DVD on my website at the links below. Another reason why some of us fail at weight loss is because we have absolutely zero chill on the portion control. 
you know what I'm talking about. There are several different ways out there for you to be able to measure what's healthy for you and what's not healthy for you. I try to make sure I use the handful technique. I even try to carry containers with me, pack my lunches. I also get those containers that allow you to have portion sizes and portion control. There are lots of boxes out there even for you to take daily that you're able to portion out your food and ration it throughout your day. I've included just a few for you in the links below. Some of us refuse to log our food. I tell you, once I started logging my food, I was able to lose weight. All it takes is a sheet of paper, a journal. You don't have to have any specific system. There's a million different apps out there that are free. I've placed some below for you to check out, but just write down what you're having, your fats, your carbs, and your proteins, and that's gonna help you stick to your diet. Some of us fail because we eat straight out of the bag. You know who you are. You're probably doing it right now watching this video. I do it sometimes myself. I am guilty and have been guilty of this, but you better watch it. Brown chicken pop. About to eat all of this. Oh, oh, oh. I've said this one a million times, but guess what? I don't care. Some people just ain't drinking enough water. And my thing is, you know when you ain't, because usually your pee is some unusual color that it should not be. Listen to my hype song on how you might get up. And hey, get, get you some water. Hey, hey, hey. We really also fail when we don't eat more to weigh less. You don't have to eat little bitty portions or even give up on your diet and eat unhealthy foods. When you eat those low portions of food, you slow down your metabolism. So eat more fruits and vegetables, healthy oils, lean proteins, whole grains, and eat less of that salt, refined grains, and added sugars. Another problem we have is that we overdose on healthy food. Instead of picking foods that we actually like with healthy fats and things like that in it, we might think just because it says light or fat free, it's better for us. But let me tell you something. You can beef up real fast if you're eating that fat free stuff that has hidden and added sugars and things that you don't want. And last but certainly not least, you are not hanging around the right people who are there to support you and help you through this weight loss journey. You are not going to make it just on your own. And I'm not saying depend on anybody to make you feel better, but you certainly shouldn't be hanging around with other people who really are not surrounding you with the love and the care and the greatness that you deserve. So wrap yourself in love, joy, peace, friends and family who all support and adore you and that are willing to push you to your great self. And you'll find this weight loss journey is even easier. So I pray that this video has been amazing for you. Make sure that down below you let me know your future video ideas. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.